guys and welcome back to another video and before we get into today's video I just want to do the usual so my name's Amber I upload beauty fashion and lifestyle content if they're the type of videos that you like to watch then why not hit that subscribe button and come along and join my little family and if you're already part of the family then why not make sure that notification bell switch on just so you're notified of whenever I upload a video why not give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment box down below and now we can get right into today's video and I am back with a super super exciting review video for you today guys I feel like it's been a hot minute but this this palette just caught my eye and I had to review it so this is a new launch from Revolution but this is from their makeup obsession range and it is another launch with a, an amazing influencer called she's known as Illuminati but she's actually called Tiffany and I believe that she actually got big through TikTok videos she is absolutely insane I will like put a picture up of one of her looks here she is a talent she's absolutely incredible so for her to get the opportunity to come out with a palette with a brand I just find absolutely amazing and this was just completely completely and utterly up my street so there was two parts to her collection the first was the liners so I'm just going to talk about these first then we'll talk about the palette so this is the makeup obsession kaleidoscopic dreams collection with illuminati and these are the so-called eyeliners so you get five eyeliners in here they are like coal pencil liners they're so so pretty and these were 12 pound for five which i thought was a really good price these work out at two pound 40 each so i thought that was really reasonable so i'm just going to go ahead and do some swatches of them because these are stunning i am super super impressed with these i've actually used them in the look that i've created today i absolutely love them i think they're absolutely gorgeous and i do think they're a really good buy for £12. So let's move on to talking about the palette. So the palette is also called um, Kaleidoscopic Dreams because that's obviously the collection and it's got this really like hypnotic packaging to it this was 20 pounds 20 shades in here altogether so there is a mixture in here of like pressed pigments like shimmer shadows matte shadows there's a little bit of everything in here and this is what she looks like it is super super pretty though um, and i do like the all like the fact that they're all round pans there isn't a lot of wasted space here though so i suppose that is a good thing i just think it's stunning look at how pretty she is such a nice selection of shades now i'm not really sure how to go ahead and swatch this we're gonna start with like the outer rows first and then work our way in so let's just get right into the swatches so i'm just going to start with this row here and include these two shimmer shades in that swatch as well and then we'll move along to the other side of the palette so that is both ends of the palette so i'm going to move along to this bigger outer circle for the next row so that is the outer swatches super super pretty very nice and bright and then we're going to swatch the inner circle so that is all of your swatches so that was all of the swatches as you can see the mattes do swatch quite chunky but they actually don't perform like that when they're on the eye and i always like to say when i'm doing palette testing videos that sometimes good swatches don't necessarily mean that it's going to perform well on the eye and bad swatches don't necessarily mean that it's going to perform bad on the eye so you just have to play with it and see what's going to happen and this does perform nicely on the eye blended out really easily um, i didn't have any issues with any patchiness or anything like that i found that it did blend out really nicely i think it is an absolutely stunning palette you are getting a hell of a lot of bang for your buck so it is an absolutely stunning palette it definitely gets a thumbs up from me now if you want to see the tutorial part of this video and how i created this look then just keep watching because we're going to get in so as usual i've already done my brows and one eye off camera this looks very very crazy but i know once i get my base and everything on it will look amazing so i've done this like fiery rainbow eye and i've also used the pencils in the collection to line the look so i'm just going to get on and do the opposite side and show you how to create this look so first we're going to go into the shade here which is a gorgeous musty yellow called glop and i'm just going to take this on my little round brush just like that i'm just going to take a fluffy brush in the same shade and just really buff this out then we're going to go into this orange shade here which is called lava And I'm literally just going to pack this on next to where I've laid down that yellow shade. And then blend out again with the fluffy brush. Then I'm going to go back in with my little round brush. And I'm going to go into this lovely red shade here which is called Poison. And I'm going to sort of flick this out so it's almost like a wing. Like so. 
back in with that fluffy brush. Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer and I'm just going to use a little bit of this just to cut the crease. Just taking this on my really flat brush. I'm just going to go back into that red lava shade and I'm just going to literally fluff this edge. And I'm going to go into, I don't even know how to pronounce this, this gold shade which says it's called Kintsugi. Like so. I always do tend to use shimmers on a finger because I just feel like the colour pay off so much better. And then to give it a little bit more extra sparkle, I actually want to go in with this shade here which is called Opal Light. And this is the most stunning. Oh god, honestly, it's lush. I'm going to take this on the packing brush and I'm literally just going to stick that over the top of where I've laid down that gold shade. Now I'm going to show you how I um, lined it and going with the liners. So first I'm going to be using the green liner which is called Canary and I'm going to take this where I've placed the yellow shade down just in the inner corner here. And follow this all the way along to where the orange shade is. Then once I hit the orange, I want to go in with a different colour. Now I'm going to go in with the Flamingo shade, which is the really pretty pink colour. And take that along the orange. Now I'm going to go in with the gorgeous purple colour, which is called Cocktail. And take this right along the red. Like that. And then I'm going to go in with the blue and line my lid. Now I'm going to go in with my lash glue and I'm just going to put this on my lash line. While I'm waiting for that to dry a little bit, I'm just going to go in with my mascara, which is currently the Bad Girl Bang Mascara by Benefit. And I'm just going to coat my lashes. I'm not going to do my bottom lashes yet because I am actually going to finish this eye look off once I've done my base. And then today I'm using this these lashes which are um, tarty lashes i can't quite remember the style but i will link them down below and literally i'm just going to drop these where i've placed the lash glue down Ta -da! so i'm just literally going to pop off camera and do my base and then i'm going to come back and just finish off um under the eye area so i've just finished doing my base and i've done the rest of this eye so literally all i'm going to do is i'm just going to firstly line the waterline with this coal pencil from the collection which is called ocean and then I'm going to go in with this blue shade here, which is called Electric, and go on top of that. Then I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes, finish off this look, and then we're going to get back and talk about my thoughts and feelings on the collection. So guys, we're back, and this is the completed look. It's very, very stunning. I'm very, very proud of it. Oh. It looks so pretty. Um, I'm just going to give you my thoughts, my final thoughts and feelings on the collection. Um, now you've seen the tutorial part and you have seen swatches and everything. I am super, super, super impressed with the liners. They definitely get a 100% thumbs up from me. I think they are just such great liners. They remind me very much of the Urban Decay liners. They, I wouldn't say they glide on as smoothly as the Urban Decay ones, but they're definitely in that sort of ballpark. And in terms of the palette, the palette is absolutely stunning. They are, it is a gorgeous array of colours and shades and um, you've got everything you can need to create a natural neutral look or a very bright arty look. It performs really well and it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Well done Tiffany on this absolutely incredible collection. It's absolutely stunning um, and I can't wait to see what you create in the future. I would love to know if you have bought the collection or if you were going to be buying it. Let, that know, let me know that down below. What are your thoughts and feelings after I've done this video? Do you love it? Do you not love it? I'd love to know. Anyway, leave that down below. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I shall see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.